Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm doing a really quick video review on this instant chicken run. It's the chicken run we've been using for about two years at our last rental property. And I'm gonna tell you, even though it looks like this, I'm gonna tell you why we're gonna continue to use it. We did get this run off of Amazon, so I'm gonna go through the good things and the bad things and why, even though it looks a little worse for wear, why it's still worth it in my opinion. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the reason we like this chicken run and why we're continuing to use it is because of this right here. This is the frame, okay? So we have built chicken runs out of wood in the past and it did not go well. It just kind of fell apart over time. And if you wanna build a chicken run out of wood, you really kind of have to do it correctly. I just kind of threw together some lumber when I made my chicken run and it did not last. It did not do a good job. Um, it was very ugly, it fell apart really fast. So I like to call this one again, the instant chicken run. Obviously you have to set it up, it doesn't just pop up. But we did set this up in about two hours, I think, it took less than two hours. Here are the things I like about it. So, ow, you jerk. Okay, we're done, you're done. Get out of here, get out of here, you're gonna move. So like I said, the main reason we like this chicken run is because of the frame. Uh, the frame is just sturdy. I mean, it's not, okay, I should, it's all relative, but the frame assembles really quickly and it's way sturdier than the um, kind of makeshift wood run that I built. So, you know, you can always build something sturdier than this. It is very light and I know some people that's probably going to be a con. I can pick it up just myself. That's I can really pick it up here. Um, but we do actually like that it is light because we do move it from time to time. So as you can see, the ground is kind of all eaten up there. We do like this style of run because we like to move it when we want to move them on to fresh grass. Those are not our alpacas, by the way. Um, this is our former neighbor's property. We're not here anymore. But this is the setup that we used for our chickens while we were here for a while. So another reason that I really like it is because it is a walk-in run. It makes a huge difference for cleaning the run. Um, every run I have from here on out is gonna be a walk-in run. I think it's well worth it. Comes with this door, which like the frame is fine. As you can see, this netting that it came with is kind of weak. So I would really recommend, as you can see kind of up there, the netting, this is two years old at this point. Um, it's all kind of coming off. Here's why we're not concerned about it. We're not concerned about it because it does the job. So I would say if you are very concerned about predators, as you can see, there's a gap on the bottom. We lock our chickens up at night. So <laughs> you guys aren't getting food, sorry. We lock our chickens up at night. So uh, we're not really concerned about raccoons and things. I know we could have a coyote attack during the day. Um, you know, two, three years, we haven't had it here, but it all depends on your own property. But what the netting does is it does keep out the air predators, which is really why we have this run. So even though it's not really strong enough for a raccoon or a coyote, that kind of thing, I don't mind. And we haven't put the extra work in to replace it with hardware cloth because this is really just meant for air predator protection for them. Sometimes we'll just leave the door open just to make sure they have somewhere to run in, um, that kind of thing. If you have major predator problems, you're going to have to put thousands probably of dollars into a predator proof run that you're building custom. For the majority of us, that's not really a problem and that's not what we're gonna be doing. So this kind of thing for our purposes has worked really great. That being said, if you have bears, if you have bad, <laughs> coyote problems, uh, that kind of thing, then obviously you're gonna want something a little more than this. But again, compared to the run that I spent days building, this one going up in a couple hours, it does come with this kind of flimsier netting, which is great for air predators, has worked great for us, um, but as far as other predators probably isn't going to do much. Again, I really feel like what you're paying for is the convenience, you're paying for the frame, you're paying for a walk-in run that just goes up really quickly. Like I said, I know people are gonna say, oh my gosh, it's like a piece of junk, it's so light. This is actually what we like because we like to move the chicken. So I do not personally want something super heavy. Yes, you could build something on wheels, but I'm here for kind of real life chicken keeping. We just don't have the time or resources to be um, making them a chicken bunker. I know some people love doing that. That is great for the people who like to do that. Uh, we're just not in that stage of life ourselves. So for everyone else who just needs something to keep their chicken safer and doesn't want to spend an arm and a leg, this thing has been working great for us. This is Abraham. Hey. Hey, Abraham. 
It is windy out here, isn't it? Not the best day to narrate, that's for sure. Okay, now I'm gonna show you kind of the downside if uh, Abraham will let me. Dude, I'm trying to zoom in. I'm trying to stay back where it's not windy. So obviously this covering is kind of a joke. I think they kind of threw that on there to, uh, I don't know, it's better than nothing, I guess. But after two years, this cover that kind of provided some shade in the past, um, it's just kind of all blown apart. It just is not the most hardy cover. So if you want hardier cover, for shade, I think that was the point of that. If you wanna provide some shade for them, um, you probably will wanna add like a tarp or something. I will link what I would maybe use, although because the frame is so light, you also don't want it to blow away. So mm, use your best discretion there. Obviously, if I didn't say it already, obviously I linked this run for you. I'll link some hardware cloth too if you wanna make your run a little bit more predator proof. Here's more of a close up. It's just that kind that you just kind of snap together. Um, probably wouldn't be all that hard to take it apart too if you did want to move it. We'll probably just get another one for our new place. Like I said, we haven't really put work into maintaining this because we don't really have a ground predator problem. Another thing you could do if you don't want to put the whole thing in hardware cloth is you could just, uh, I'll link the electric poultry netting. Since this property has electric fencing on the outside we don't need it on the inside but you can get that super easy to set up electric poultry netting and you could put that on the outside of this run if you didn't want to go with hardware cloth and that's probably a better bet because it would prevent digging predators as well as um you know just ones that kind of want to get past the netting so that would be a really easy solution i'll show you the door latch if you're curious um everybody's feeling wild today because the wind <laughs> we have been working on the plans for that backyard coop in the background we literally have been working on them for over a year <laughs> that's how long these things take with so much other stuff to do so hopefully we'll have that release for you guys in the next couple months here all right so here's just kind of the latch that it uses as you can see um, I don't know what kind they're called but just closes on the door like that and it's kind of we've used it so many times like I said this is just kind of a joke as far as protection from ground predators so um, that's where I'm docking this run I guess is this netting is kind of a joke but um, and obviously the cover was kind of a joke but really all things considered I, I do feel like you're just really paying for the frame and the convenience the design is all set you just kind of set it up when you get it and then it's good to go so hopefully this was a little helpful for anyone if they've been considering this chicken run that has been blowing up on the internet because um, obvious reasons. A lot of people are getting into chicken keeping and I think it's great. So let me know if you found this helpful and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.